when I started training, this is what my workout routine looked like. Now, if your workout routine looks anything like this one, then I believe this video will drastically help you. I remember including all these different exercises thinking that I was gonna hit some extra muscle fibers or some shit. And it was only until I started following higher level athletes that I realized that the workouts were actually a lot more simple than I originally thought. And honestly, since then I've made so much more progress. That's exactly why today I'm gonna go over the only four exercises you need to get strong and aesthetic as fuck. And yes, this is not bullshit. Because calisthenics is made from compound exercises, which pretty much just means that it engages multiple muscles at the same time, you only actually need a few exercises in your routine. Now, when it comes to pushing exercises, there's only two exercises that you need. The first one is dips. There's always a progression that you can do for beginners and the same for people who are more advanced. For example, once you're comfortable with normal body weight dips, you can add weight in order to make it harder. For the second exercise, it's of course gonna be the push-up. Now, just like dips, there's always gonna be a progression that you can do. I recommend that you focus on the one progression that challenges you and is not too easy. But you don't need to be doing multiple circuits of diamond push-ups and standard push-ups. Just stick to one progression that you can do for under 10 reps and then slowly progress that into more harder variations of the push-up. Especially if you wanna get strong and build more muscle instead of doing high endurance reps. Now for pulling exercises, without no surprise, it's gotta be the pull-up. Pull-up pretty much engages every muscle in your back and even your biceps. Again, the progressions for the pull-up are endless. The final exercise is rows. Now you can progress all the way from body weight rows all the way to the front lever pull up. The reason why I include this exercise is because it's a different type of movement to the pull up. If you didn't notice, I included two vertical exercises and two horizontal exercises, one for both push and pull. Now this might sound a bit confusing, but vertical exercises are exercises where you're moving down up or up down. So for example, dips, pull ups, handstand push ups, these are all vertical exercises whereas horizontal exercises are exercises where you're positioned horizontally. So for example, push-ups and rows. Now I think this is quite important because it will help you build strength all around and it will help you down the line when you're trying to achieve skills. So to summarize all the exercises, for push, we've got push-ups and dips and for pull, we've got pull-ups and rows. Now if you focus on these four areas in your training, you are going to have a beastly foundation. If you are starting out at calisthenics, make sure to check out this video where I show you all the exercises and the progressions you need and how you can structure your own routine.